I do have an update on Keontae George from Baylor men's basketball on his, on his injury. He's now a game time decision against Iowa State. Obviously, he did not play against Oklahoma State, as we all know. And this is per John Rodstein, who got this information from Scott Drew himself. We're going to have to wait and see on Langston Love on his eye thing situation. I would not assume anything at this time. I would just say prepare for both situations and whatever happens, happens. Because there's no point into believing one way or the other right now. And supposedly there's a clickbait source out there that says he's out for the season. That's been de de debunked by several people. Or a few people out there. Granted, they don't know. They didn't, they're not saying a word either on Langston Love's injury, but it's been debunked. So, I don't believe anything on Langston Love on his status right now from that clickbait source. But Keontae, he does average 16.3 points per game. He shoots like 35.6% from three, 80.6% per, 80 from free throws, 39.1% from the field, which I wish that was a little bit higher. 4.3 rebounds per game, 2.9 assists per game, 1.1 steals per game, 2 fouls per game, and 3 turnovers per game, which is a lot. So, we're going to have to wait and see. I just know we only have three, Baylor only has three healthy guards. That's going to be, that might be a problem. We might have no choice, but I would safely think at some point during the game, if we only have three healthy guards, we're going to have to play both John, uh, John Donchamo, Chachua, and Flo Thumb at the same time, as well as Jalen Bridges, assu assuming there is no foul trouble. But if there is foul trouble, that's going to be a problem, especially to Jalen Bridges, because then we're going to have to have no choice but to get Kev Lohner in the game or John just put John in the game and make him a small forward, which I know it sounds nuts. But I mean like a power forward situation put him like along with Flo as well as three other guards. But like uh, of course like I said, hey, don't be shocked if there's like three guys in a front court like John, Caleb, and Flo in the game, or even Josh Ojuwuna in a game. Don't be shocked if there's that situation. I mean, I would think that could be a situation where you might have to play them, that particular front court. And not only that. What if we have to play Jordan Turner? I mean, the good news is, is the emergence of Dale Bonner. That is helpful. It is. I just don't know if it's worth Keontae playing on Saturday. In some instances, it does make sense. Because, look, we have to beat Iowa State to give ourselves a shot to potentially finish third in the conference. Assuming West Virginia beats Kansas State because and Texas losing to Kansas and Austin. That might be, that's the only, that's the easiest path. I don't know if Texas would win and Baylor would win. Who would get that edge? I I know Baylor has a better road record in the Big 12, but I don't know if they're gonna. It's gonna come down to that second tiebreaker scenario, which if it involves like two teams, just two, it's gonna be results of head to head first, which we know those two teams split. So that's taken care of. 
it's the actually the road record winning percentage is the third option of course like the the second option would be like each team's winning record versus the occupying hot occupying the highest position in a final standing so yeah both teams if somehow Texas would lose they can't I mean even if they if they beat Kansas and that we already beat Kansas Baylor dead and if Texas does beat can Kansas we're tied in that way and they're gonna then they'll continue down through the standings until one team gains an advantage I don't really want to go to that situation right there because I'm uncertain if Baylor would move I mean and what if three team if Kansas State would win and same thing goes for Texas and same thing goes for Baylor then it's gonna be a three-way tie it's gonna be collective the first things first is like results on the collective head-to-head -head competition during the regular season minute among the tight teams in a mini round robin yeah we only beat Texas once and I mean combined Texas and Kansas State once out of four games Kansas State's beat Texas once they beat us twice. They have the edge in all this. I mean, we don't really want to be in that situation. Of course, if it two teams will remain tied, which I don't think they'll be at that point, because the advantage goes to Kansas State in that such situation. It's going like the remain tied with the same winning percentage, then it. It's going to have to come down starting with head to head results. Well, Texas in. Yeah. But still, you get what I'm saying. You could look at the tiebreaker rules and just go to the Big 12 website and just go under men's basketball and see the tiebreaker. So, it's very complicated. This is why I hope West Virginia beats Kansas State. And this is why I want Texas to lose to Kansas, besides Baylor winning. You got to win against Iowa State, who is without Kel Grill. Because of like he didn't meet the standard of the team. And apparently what he what he po he posted a little long message out there, multiple photos, which you need to look on Twitter about. He said some stuff that he shouldn't. Thus, he can't be back on the team. Apparently, that's that's what it is. So, either way, you have to beat Iowa State. Just and not only that, if nothing, if it can't do it for the Big Twelve tournament in terms of seedings to get up to that two or three line, do it for the NCAA tournament. We need to find a way to be a two seed. I think with one more win, we'll be a two seed in a Big 12 tournament. I mean, an NCAA tournament with a win over Iowa State. But if you don't get the win against Iowa State, you have to beat, get, you have to win one Big 12 tournament game then. And that way, I would rather just win the last home game of the year. That way, we know. We should be a two seed in the NCAA tournament, regardless what happens in the Big 12 tournament. Anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. And see you guys later. Five subscribers are on the road to it. Let's go.